My name is Kirsten Jack, I'm Senior Lecturer in Adult Nursing here at NMU. So in the Department of Nursing we've been thinking about creative ways of teaching now for a number of years because we decided that the more traditional forms of teaching, the more didactic teacher-centred approaches just weren't working when we were trying to engage the students in thinking about their feelings about practice and thinking about their emotions, which is really important in nursing practice. So over a number of years, we've been looking at different approaches. So we've used collage, we've used drawing as a way to discuss how we feel about practice. And we've also used literature. So it was a natural progression, really, that we would then start to think about other forms of reflection. Reflection is a very um, well-used activity in nursing practice, and we have some very formal reflective models. But we were thinking of ways that we could use that were much more free. So we started thinking about poetry, and we talked to one of our creative writing colleagues about how we might do that. The process that we use to encourage students to write the poems, which culminates in them reading them out to their, to their colleagues in a small group, is that we start by introducing it very early on. We introduce the idea very early on in the module. Um, and we do that because it's very important that students feel confident and safe and they feel it's a normal thing to be thinking about and doing. We also have a website, uh, our Occurring Words website, where we have a, a discussion about poetry on there, and we have other students' poems on there. So it's like a little poetry community where our current students can go on and have a look at what other students have written. So they don't feel so worried that if they think, oh, I can't write a good poem, then they don't feel so bad about it. So we introduce it and we keep talking about it. And then we have a one hour workshop where we formally discuss uh, the different sorts of poetry. And that was informed by our creative writing lecturer. And we talk about it in terms of it's not so much about the end product, so it's not so much about the poem, because uh, students get very hung up about, well, does it need to rhyme, and how long does it need to be, and I was no good at poetry at school, so I can't do it now. We do emphasise the fact that it's about the process they go through, the thinking about it rather than the actual end product. The students then have some time to go away and write their poems. Then we all get together on a second date and we sit in a group, in a circle, and we talk about the poems. And we, as lecturers, uh, write a poem as well to talk about our own practice because we're trying to promote a real equal kind of setting where we are just the same as the other members of the group. Um, I try not to lead the session too much so I say, you know, it's all about, it's about us all discussing practice. We all take a turn in reading out our poem. And then the important bit, I feel, is the discussion afterwards. So we discuss how we feel. We discuss the different issues relating to practice that the poems reveal. I think there are multiple aims to this process. I think in the first instance, initially, it was about helping students to identify and acknowledge how they feel about practice because I don't think that nurses often get an opportunity to think about how they feel. I think it's difficult for them to explain to others and I think they worry about being perceived as soft or they can't hack it as a nurse if they want to talk about how they feel. So I think the initial aim was to explore feelings about practice. I think other aims and we've been doing this process now for a couple of years. I think other aims that seem to have emerged really um, are around encouraging creativity and imagination. Because we know that in practice, students need to be creative and they need to have some sort of an imagination because the NHS is short of resources. Sometimes we need to think of different ways to deal with different problems. And I think also that patient service users that we encounter aren't always straightforward and black and white. So I think that 
encouraging a creative and, and creative way of thinking helps when students go into practice and have to think differently there. Sometimes it can be a little bit daunting because I never really know what's going to happen. Some students write such heartfelt and upsetting poems and get upset on the day, which, which I think is okay because I think that it can be a very cathartic experience, but I never quite know what's going to happen. That's fine because I know that however many of the students read their poems out and who don't, I know that all of the students are gaining something from that activity because they're learning something about themselves. Certainly the students who write the poems are learning about themselves and how they feel. But I think that the other students in the room, even though they might not want to share anything that they've written, there's a respect for the student who has written something. And I know some of the students have felt a little bit embarrassed that they haven't brought anything. So they're learning about themselves. The students who've produce something and learning about themselves as well. So I think it's it's worthwhile engaging in the activity for the development of self-awareness amongst the students, but also the deeper levels of learning that it encourages. You don't get this level, I feel, using other approaches. I think there's something about the use of poetry that really engages the imagination, that really encourages the expression of emotion that other methods don't help with. So using a reflective model does not get the same level of learning, the same engagement with the exercise that writing a poem does. Some of our students have said that their poem, they can use a poem as a prop and they wouldn't have shared their emotions the way they did if they were just talking about themselves, but using a poem it's almost like they've got something to almost hide behind. It's like it's not them speaking, it's their piece of work that's speaking, but not them. So they're able to talk in a, a much more in-depth way than they were before. And a lot of our students say to us, they hadn't thought about the incident or what, you know, whatever it is that they're, they're talking about in as much depth and detail until they'd written the poem and actually performed it in front of a group. So I think, just think it's such a powerful way of doing things, powerful way of learning and reflecting on how we feel as nurses. Thank you for watching this Good Practice Exchange film. You can find lots more teaching ideas and resources on our website.